Do you know there is a difference between critical illness insurance and medical insurance? If this is your first time hearing about this, then keep on watching. If you're new here, our channel is all about money and self-development tips. So if you haven't subscribed to us yet, feel free by clicking that subscribe button down below. So critical illness insurance and medical insurance, is there really a difference? Is it big? So in this video, we will share all about it. So let's get started. Now let's start with how does critical illness and medical insurance work? Now there are many definitions when it comes to medical insurance. The medical insurance that we are referring here is the hospitalization insurance. Many of you may refer it as medical card, where it is used to pay for your medical bills when you admit to the hospital. On the other hand, critical illness is entirely a different benefit and it is not included under the medical card benefit. Critical illness benefit is a lump sum payout upon the diagnosis of a critical illness. In simpler terms, it means if you have critical illness, the insurance company will pay you a big amount of cash. We understand that some of you may still find it confusing. So here's an example for you. Now imagine patient A and patient B. Both of them has just admitted to the hospital and luckily both have medical card. So they use the medical card to pay for their bills. However, patient A does not own any critical illness benefit. So patient A will not receive any critical illness payout from the company. Patient B, however, has a critical illness benefit. And therefore, not only his bills are paid, he will also receive a large amount of cash. If you have been watching so far, do share with us any problems that you are facing with insurance by commenting them down below. Now that you have understand the difference between the two benefits, the next question is, should you buy both of them? It is not necessary, but it is an option. Many of my clients tend to ask if I purchase a medical card, must I buy the critical illness benefit as well? And if I did not buy the critical illness benefit, does that mean that my medical bills for critical illness will not be covered? So my answer to you is, it is not necessary. It is just a highly recommended option. If you buy a medical card today without any critical illness benefit, your hospitalization bills for critical illness will still be covered. So for example, like patient A just now, if patient A has been admitted to the hospital due to cancer, his hospitalization bill will still be covered, even if he does not have any critical illness benefit. So what are the disadvantages of only purchasing either one of them? First of all, these are two different benefits with different functions to serve different needs. Although the medical card can solve your hospitalization bills, it cannot solve other problems which requires money. For example, like patient A, even though all his medical bills are covered, but his medical card cannot pay for his other expenses such as electrical bills, household expenses, loans, children expenses, education, and etc. But with critical illness benefit, the patient B, on the other hand, will receive a lump sum amount of money. And because of that amount of money, patient B will not have to worry about his lifestyle expenses. So should you buy both of them? It is a rule of thumb in the financial practice to have both. Even if you can only afford a little, you should still have both. If you'd like to know more in detail, you can download our 10 things that medical cards will not cover and critical illness benefit can help with these things. So we will link it down below. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please do give us a big thumbs up. And again, if you have not subscribed to us, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button down below. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.